Hello, my name is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a really good snack and a healthy snack at home for just pennies. Today I'm going to use my Whirligig. Now this Whirligig was given to me by a friend of mine and she found it at a rummage sale. You can use this type of a tool on top of your stove. You could also do the same thing with a pan with a cover. Of course you're going to need a cover because the popcorn is going to pop. The Whirligig is kind of nice because it kind of stirs up the kernels as it's cooking in the pan. But I have done this with a regular pan as well. So here we go. Let's get started. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would really like you to give this video a thumbs up, like my video, and subscribe. Enjoy the video and I hope this gives you a great idea for a good healthy snack for the summer. And kids love it. Here we go. This is my popcorn. What are you going to need? Well, all you need is some popcorn kernels and you need some vegetable oil. You can do the same thing with like coconut oil, other types of oils that you can make popcorn with. And this is my Whirly Gig popcorn popper. It's just like a regular pan, it has a cover to it, and it has a little pole on it that kind of stirs up the popcorn kernels. And you can do this right on your stove. So get the pan warm, put it on medium high to high, put in about two tablespoons of oil and kind of swish it around. And then you get your kernels and pour them in. For this type of thing, it's probably about three tablespoons, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. And this will make enough popcorn to fill this entire pot right here. So we're gonna warm it up and we're gonna wait for it to start popping. And when it starts popping for this Whirligig thing, you just kind of turn the handle here. If you don't have a turning handle thing, then all you need to do is just kind of shake the pan so that the kernels won't burn. Here we go. <laughs> this whole process takes maybe about two to three minutes. You do not need a regular popcorn popper. And like I said, you can do this in a regular pan. There we go, the pan is full. You can put on any kind of toppings that you want. I like just a little bit of salt. I just got this Pampered Chef coarse sea salt at Mindy Danforth's online Pampered Chef party. So I added this to my popcorn and mm, 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 it is delicious. Thank you for watching. See you next time.